Hey fans, well thank you so much for watching today's awesome vlog. Curious what I'm doing down in the garage today. I want to apologize. The camera battery had died on my camera and I had to go get a fully charged battery. But back to my DeWalt saw, should I say. I wanted to kind of explain about the saw on why it uses a 15 amp circuit instead of a 20 amp circuit. Yes, you can plug it in a 20 amp circuit. It will work just perfectly fine. But let's go ahead and show you what I mean and we're going to talk about some differences of outlets, breakers, and a little bit about wiring, uh, should I say. Let's go, shall we? Now, here is my DeWalt saw, should I say. I bought this uh, last year at Home Depot. It's a very good saw. It's only a 10 inch metal saw, but it works perfectly fine, should I say. But we need to understand something. This cable here is only 14 gauge. If you kind of notice, it is a polarized plug. Means you can only plug it in one way. This long side here, that's considered your neutral. The shorter side is actual your hot, should I say. But let's talk about this right here. Okay, I noticed there was the make and model of my saw. But here is the voltage it uses, and here is the amps the actual mito saw uses. It's very nice. Let's go ahead and show you what the actual saw looks like. Looks awesome. But we're not going to talk too much about the saw today. Let's go ahead and talk about a little bit what's on this table, should I say? Let's talk about breakers, wire, and the outlet. Let's talk about this first. This is a single breaker with two breakers and one. This is a very old breaker. This is a 15 amp breaker, basically, and it has two separate breakers and one. That's why it's like that. This is not for my GE panel, this is just an old uh, breaker. Now, this is 14 2. Basically, this is a scrap leftover wire. I don't have any more 14 2 Omex to kind of show you. Normally, your cable will have a hot, a ground, and a neutral. Now, this outlet here is a 15 amp outlet because of the shape. That's your ground, that's your hot, and that's your neutral. Hot on this side, ground, and neutral on that side. Moving away from that, Let's talk about this. That's a 20 amp breaker. That is a 12.2 Omex with a hot, neutral, and a ground. And the plug for that is basically what you see right here. This is a 20 amp uh, plug. Uh, your ground, your hot, and your neutral. You're going to say, Chris, why does it have a T? Well, that's for using a different type of a plug, should I say. A different end, should I say. Okay, here's your hot on this side, ground on that side, and your neutral on that side. This is what you would normally see. Okay, notice, there's your hot, there's your ground, and there's your neutral. Now, this is a 20 amp breaker for a GE panel, that's what I have. Okay, notice, this is a higher amp uh, breaker. Then this breaker right here, that's 15, that's only for small cable, for small stuff, and this is for bigger, larger capacity items. But that's kind of showing you the difference of a couple of these different things I have over here. But back to the actual saw itself. The saw only uses 15 amps, and yes, you can use an actual 20 amp circuit on if you choose to. But kind of just showing you how I kind of use my saw, but I do have a actual 20 amp circuit outside. I can actually hook this up to it by plugging it into the 20 amp uh, breaker. Means I won't have to worry about the breaker tripping when I'm using my saw, should I say. But all right, if you guys and girls are still brand new channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please show, peace out. 
we'll hopefully see you in a future vlog and thank you so much for watching and have a very nice day catch you in the next one